If you're keen for a bit of vehicle-based outdoor adventure and you can't stomach the thought of sleeping in a swag or a tent and you don't like the idea of towing a caravan or a camper trailer, then maybe a camper van is for you. This is the California Beach. It's pretty retro cool, it's packed full of standard features and some nice options as well, but is this a case of style over substance? Well, that's what we're here to find out, so stick around. For even more details on this vehicle, read my full review at the Cars Guide website. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon to stay up to date with all of our content. And while you're at it, why don't you share it with your mates? This is the California Beach TDI 340. It has a manufacturer suggested retail price of $86,990. Our test vehicle has a few extra options and for full details on those, read my review at the Cars Guide website. All those add-ons push the price as tested to $101,330. Standard features include the 8-inch touchscreen, automatic headlights, privacy glass, those 180 degree swivel seats at the front, a fully sprung loft bed, camping table and two folding chairs, and a whole stack more. It has a 2.0-litre four-cylinder turbo diesel engine, a 7-speed dual-clutch auto, and VW's 4-motion all-wheel drive system. The California Beach is 4,904mm long with a 3,000mm long wheelbase. It stands 1,990mm high and is 1,904mm wide. It has a listed curb weight of 2,457kg. The interior of the California is nice and comfortable and it's all very functional and everything's easy to operate and easy to find. And as well as that, there are some nice additions like the swivel seats, the captain's chair, the driver's seat and the front passenger. The rear seat slides fore and aft so you can make a bed or you can make a fair bit of space. But beyond all of those things, what is crucial to this camper van is this little screen here, because from there you can operate the pop-top roof, you can keep an eye on your battery levels, and you can also see if the camper van is actually level, which is important when it comes time to go to bed. The pop-top roof is easy enough to set up, it didn't take us too long, but I would probably think about putting the kids up top, as long as they're older ones, and putting the adults down below. The California is a five-seater and that second row has child seat anchor points and two isofix points. Visibility in the California is ample. You've got open glass everywhere. It really feels like a nice, relaxed, open to the elements almost driving experience. Steering is really quite well weighted and precise and that means a lot for a camper van like this because while it's not gigantic you do tend to feel its size through sharper corners and the California's turbo diesel engine and dual clutch automatic transmission really work well together. It's a nice smooth pairing and that makes for an unfussed drive even if things get a bit twisty turny and while this is generally a well behaved vehicle on road a pretty smooth drive you do have the option in this of taking on tracks that are well a little bit more tougher than your normal bitumen because this has the all-wheel drive and also remember you do have hill descent control and a rear diff lock payload is listed as 623 kilograms and it has claimed towing capacities of 750 kilograms unbraked and 2500 kilograms braked. The California doesn't have an ANCAP safety rating because it hasn't been tested here yet but safety features do include autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, a reversing camera and more. Fuel consumption is a claimed 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres on a combined cycle. Actual fuel consumption on this test is on screen now. It has an 80 litre fuel tank and a 5 year unlimited kilometre warranty. I can certainly see the appeal of a camper van, especially one like the California Beach, because it's functional, it's comfortable and it's nice to drive. But for me, a lot of other things make more sense, especially at this price point.
You could buy a four wheel drive wagon and a camper trailer, or you could even get yourself a motorhome, a used one, and you might still have money left over from a hundred grand. But there's no denying that this is fit for purpose, but that price tag is just too hefty. But what do you reckon? Have your say in the comments section below.